love me. XOXO. Gossip Girl. Spotted at Grand Central, bags in hand, Serena Vanderwoodson. Look, Blair, I'm really trying to make an effort here. I thought everything was good between us. It was. Before I found out you had sex with my boyfriend. Where are you? Why don't you call? Why did you leave without saying goodbye? And Serena and Blair? They do besties better than anyone. Like me? Define like. <laughs> Some people. Are we really gonna do this? Did you sleep with her, huh? You son of a bitch, I'd kill you. My name is Blair. You don't have anyone. But I'm Blair. You always did know how to leave him wanting more. Oh my god, Georgina. I killed someone. We're the non-judging breakfast club. You don't belong with anyone. When the spring arrives. Three words. Eight letters. Say it, and I'm yours. I can feel a hot one taking me down for Your girlfriend Catherine is a lying, manipulating whore sleeping with her stepson. And and I've come to the conclusion that I need to get out of my comfort zone. I need, I need to experience new things. Are you gay? Oh, really? Hate the stupid headband! Oh, my head, yeah. Cedric invited. Jenny, mm -hmm. come on. Thank you, Dad. You know, Cedric would get dirty. <laughs> to set the dark. What are you doing? Or is this not you with my 15-year-old sister? I never blamed you for your mother's death. Please. Try to be civil. Okay. Hey, have I ever seen Jenny? Well, oh, if she's hiding from me, she has better taste than I thought. I tried. Bart's been in an accident. I love you. That's too bad. Please. I'm done. Leave me no choice but to give you detention. Yale has been notified. Your acceptance has been placed on hold. The ladies' room? I knew you and Serena were having problems. I had no clue they were anatomical. Someone is out to get me, and all signs point to you. fight against who you are. And you are Blair Waldorf. If you ever do, move in here. I'll make sure I'm not around. So one day I decided to do something about it. I went to church, found Jesus, and I told him all my sins. Well, I thought that was a long talk. Wow. Look at that. I'm so glad that everybody's here. All right, we need to get this crazy girl out of here. Uh, Are you help. trying to have me killed, Bass? Fine. Oh.
headbands in college. Okay. This is a new era. Let freedom reign. We're Southern, so family loyalty is really big down there. Like slavery. Wait, what for? <sighs> I was trying to help you so you would see you needed me. That we make a good team. Come on, Chuck. I want some cake. How awesome am I? stupid can you be? What? Buddy, okay, I know things. I, I've been to Europe. Chuck Bass is my best friend. Uh, All right, the third person is supposed to be a stranger. He'll be a political joke, and you'll be a punchline. Your affair ends now. Something terrible happened. I need help. Thing you would ever do would be to me. You went up there on your own. You have to see this through to the end. This is the end, Chuck. He's lying. I never talked to her. Just get out. What? Seriously, Jenny, just please leave. If you want to fight for mom, then you should do it. been waiting at the top of the Empire State Building. You can't afford to remember me. If you're not there tomorrow, at 7.01, I'm closing my heart to you forever. Go, and never come back. Because if you ever set foot in Manhattan again, I will know. And I will destroy you. They say it's a broken heart, but... I heard in my whole body. Be easier if I didn't come back. That's true. But it wouldn't be my world without you in it. We have to save our sister from that crazy bitch. Turns out I'm not the crazy one. Or the bitch. You just brought back my worst self. This means war. Vanessa stole my phone and sent an email to my professor. You tried to destroy my friendship with Blair, my reputation, my academic career. You failed every time, and now it's time for you to go. Two people are meant to be together. Eventually, they'll find their way back. Do you really believe that? I do. What do you say we find that bitch and get us a little frontier justice? You're an evil dictator of taste, Blair. So you sent Ben to prison so that I could go to Constance? Well, look, it's Georgina's baby. Me, Archibald. I will tell everyone what your favorite movie is. Hey, do not knock the sound of music. It's got nuns and Nazis. Julie Andrews was hot. We are not friends just because we went to go see a movie or five. I, Blair Waldorf, need Dan Humphrey's help. But for crying out loud, Humphrey. Oh, you are ass backwards crushing on Blair Waldorf. Well, I'm really glad you two found each other because you sure lost me. Will you marry me? You call me Serena. What? I will always love you. I will always love you. Come here. Uh, too close. Too close. Too close. What if I lose everything? Too close. You'll still have me. I'm pregnant. It's Louise. Do you even remember the girl that you fell in love with? It didn't matter where you lived. No one could keep you from being your own person. 
And that is part of why you will be a wonderful mother. Sorry that I give up on us. And you never did. I knew you were still the same Chuck. You're in love with her. I left the engagement ring I bought you on the doorstep and walked away. Because we can't be together doesn't mean I won't love you. I love you, New York! From this moment forward, there is nothing between us but a contract. Our marriage is all for show. If anyone sees her, please contact the authorities immediately. Tell me what would make you happy, Dan. Chuck, he doesn't have my heart anymore. I realize it belongs to someone else. Thank you. I'm Chuck's mother. If you please just stay away from me and my family. Okay, sis. I made that deal with her so she would help get my father out of hiding. Not your father, you mean Jack. Bart. He's alive. You said I always bet against you. But this time I'm all in. It won't be much longer, I promise. You took everything from me. Again and again. Now I'm going to find your secret. I'm going to take everything from you. I thought we were in this together. We were. And then something better came along. Okay, now I know I want to hit you. When were you going to tell me you've had sex with my daughter's boyfriend? And I can't marry someone who always has another sex tape or hidden agenda or surprise scheme up their sleeve. That's what I want. Whether or not I've admitted it to myself, you have always been the one. That was from all of us. And he just tried to have his own son killed. Now pronounce you man and wife, you may kiss the bride.